friends, let's have a quick look at the market from the VSA perspective. So on this chart, I have the Nifty plotted along with the volume. So the week, the previous week, we, we ended at the border of the previous supply zone, but we stayed above the 15,670 levels. And the week started off with the doji. So opened above the previous low and closed almost at the open. But the volume was quite low, indicating that neither the buyers nor the sellers were dominant and they were equal in strength. But the next bar you can see that we had an effort to move a bar, a widespread bar. The volume was average volume. And it is closing at the top of the supplies or support zone. Here, if you see, it was a bullish bar in the technical sense, but if you go to the overall market buy and sell volume charts and the overall market volumes, you can see that overall market volume was quite low. Of course, the buy volumes were much higher than the sell volumes and the advances were much higher than the declines. But the overall market volume was quite low. So this indicates lack of particip participation from the overall market. So naturally the bullishness does not sustain and the next bar you can see it opened above the previous close but it was a small spread bar closing at the near the bottom and the volume again was just average volume. The next bar of course it's opened much below gap down opening and it went further but the bar was quite short and the volume was much higher so obviously there could have been some buying coming here at these levels and the next bar again we can see a bullish Bar it opened, gapped up, open, and then closed near the top at the edge of the support zone. Here again, let's look at the overall market volume. Here you can see the buy volumes were much higher than the sell volumes, and the advances were much higher than the declines. But look at the volume, it is again quite low. Again, indicating that participation is not very wide. It is confined to some select stocks and the volume was not very high in all these uh, stocks moving up. Hence, the overall volume is quite low here, indicating lower participation. Coming back to this, our old chart, we can see that this crucial level of 15,670 has not been breached, though there were two attempts to come near this critical level, but it, this level was never breached. And in fact, we made a higher low and again a higher low here. So it does look like that market we may be attempting, I repeat, attempting to make a bottom. However, we cannot be 100% sure that this attempt will succeed, but it looks, this looks like it is attempting to make a bottom. And we all know that the oil prices were 
the petrol prices were cut uh, yesterday so we could expect some bullishness coming back into the market because that is a right step in containing the inflation and we may see a good bounce from here and it could be a rapid bounce and as you can see the previous bounces were always rapid you can see from the top of 1800 we had a slow grinding downtrend and then a rapid bounce and again a slow grinding downtrend and again a rapid bounce from the similar lines we could see a rapid bounce and in the longer run we could see the nifty within this range of 18350 and 15670 for quite some time to come but as of now what in the near future we could be seeing a bounce from these levels and this bounce may not last long it could be a rapid short bounce and again trying to test the previous support zone let us quickly look at uh, how the different sectors performed last week from this chart we can see it which was seeing some improvement started doing badly energy was always doing badly auto did well last week pharma also did well and it's improving metal saw some change in the last uh, two days some little improvement it could be temporary or not we need to wait and see the financial services and the banking sector which uh, improved last week again went bad mnc's also started going bad services did not do well last week consumption was doing well media did well infra was doing bad for a long time reality also did well last week and of course the stronger sector uh, is the fmcg so as always in a bearish market uh, or in a weak market you can see the defensive sectors like pharma and the fmcg doing well so some of the uh, stocks in fmcg like uh, colgate palmolive and uh, hindustan unilever they are doing quite well so we look at some of these stocks uh, later first stock we are going to look at is colgate palmolive as you can see the stock was in a downtrend and it started accumulating this is a typical wyckoffian accumulation zone in fact when the overall market was very weak and going down this stock was going sideways doing some accumulation here and in the beginning of march we could see some strength coming in we can see the delivery volumes that means the committed buyers or the longer term buyers getting in here and that strength uh, showed in the breakout from the accumulation zone and the stock started moving up it started making higher highs and higher lows but after this higher high it again started consolidating in the small consolidation area though there were some buyers getting in here it is not much and it is not good enough to push the stock further up out of the consolidation so we need to wait for a breakout from this consolidation zone with increased volume especially the delivery volume should be coming in more so we can see the stock move much higher and this could be on your watch list just wait for a increase in volume 
and a breakout from this small congestion zone, then it could give you rich dividends. The next stock we are going to look at is Hindustan Unilever. This stock has been in a downtrend from last September. And in the beginning of March, it sort of started bottoming out. As you can see from the delivery volumes, lot of interested buying or the long, longer term buyers started accumulating the stock. And then as a result, the stock started making higher lows and higher highs. And now it has crossed above the 100 uh, Day moving averages. It's already above the 200 day moving averages and the shorter term moving averages. And you can see here more accumulation of the interested buyers stepping in here. Now the stock looks quite strong to move up further, but it is approaching a, a supply zone as you can see between. 2407 and 2450. So this could act as an obstacle for the stock to move up further. But as of now, the stock looks strong enough to cross this area. So this can be in your watch list. Once this area is crossed, we could see the stock move to much higher levels. The next stock we will look at is Vislat Alkali. As you can see, this is one stock which stayed very strong during the overall market weakness starting from last October. From last October, the stock was moving rather sideways instead of down compared to the overall market and the Nifty. And again in March, it started moving up. It crossed the previous uh, rejection zone at 846 and then moved up further. But here again, it lost the steam and then started coming down here, took support at around the 100 DMA and just below the, it was more of a shakeout at the price rejection zone and then started moving up again. Now it has crossed the price rejection zone as well as it has crossed above the shorter term moving averages. So you can see that even the delivery volumes have increased showing some committed buyers coming in. So you, we could see the stock move up further in the coming week. So you could see some more uh, supply coming around this uh, level of 1050. So this is another stock which is showing uh, bullishness in this weak market. So we will look at further stocks in the coming uh, days, but right now to keep the video short, we will finish here. And let's just hope all of you will have a good trading week. We hope to have some bullish move tomorrow.